guys, DJ here. I'm going to be showing you my Vampiric Thief PvP build. And uh, my weapons are going to be dual pistols and a sword and a pistol for the sigils. On the dual pistols, I get two sigils of bloods and a sigil of blood on the sword, which has a 30% chance on crit to steal 314 HP from your opponent and give it to you. For the pistol, I use a sigil that gives endurance when you swap when you swap to that set of weapons and I don't know the name of that and the wiki is down right now so I will have it in the video description for sure and um, your jewels are six perfect ruby jewels your runes are rune of the worm and um, yeah for your healing skill you're gonna get signet of malice the passive grants you health every time you land an attack and it heals you for 150 and your main two attacks are gonna be pistol whip and unload which each do eight really quick attacks so if every attack lands it does 150 heal per attack so it heals you for 1200 and the active will heal you for a little bit and you're not going to use that too much because uh, while it's on cooldown your passive doesn't work and you're pretty much useless when your passive isn't up so you're only going to use the active when you're like oh shit I'm about to die and you need a really quick heal while you're running away <coughs> and your first first utility skill is going to be shadow step and uh, every thief build should pretty much have shadow step it's an amazing skill uh, you can teleport anywhere as long as it's in it's within uh, 1200 range and it breaks stun and uh, you can return to the original location to remove three conditions and uh, you can you can use it while you're immobilized but it doesn't break the immobilize but then you can shadow return and it won't break the immobilize and uh, any condition it'll remove like knockdowns if you use it and then you get knocked down you can shadow return and it will uh, return you back and remove the knockdown and your first venom is going to be devourer venom which your next two attacks immobilize and uh, that'll be six seconds of immobilize and that's just basically to set up your pistol whips and to catch uh, people who are running away because your uh, pistol whips are super hard to land on people that aren't stunned or immobilized and your next venom is going to be spider venom which poisons your foe with your next five attacks and the poison is six seconds so that's thirty seconds of poison which uh, also reduces healing by thirty three percent and it does about eighty damage per second so it's pretty good damage and reduces healing but you're uh... you're mainly gonna try and use that before your opponent heals because it's only thirty three percent reduced healing but it's actually a lot and it helps a lot so if you get that off before they heal it's a big deal and you should pretty much win your fight and uh, also your passive trait in deadly arts weakens target whenever you poison them and that weakens your target every time you poison them so your five poison attacks will weaken them every single attack and uh, I think it it lasts thirty seconds as well I could be wrong but it lasts a super long time and your next venom is your elite which turns your next next attack turns your opponent to stone which is also to set up your pistol whips and to stop your opponent from whatever they're doing since you can't remove uh you can't remove that it's a stun but it doesn't count as a stun so you can't remove it and uh your first trait is going to be dual skills deal more damage which is your pistol whip and unload pretty self-explanatory you're going to want those to do as much uh damage as possible and your next is going to be i chose residual venom which applied venom lasts one extra strike but there's a couple choices you can get for this first i'll explain mine which is uh your venoms are going to last one extra strike, so instead of immobilizing for six seconds, it'll immobilize for nine seconds, which is pretty damn good. And you can just sit there, pistol whipping your foe, and um, instead of your next attack turning your foe to stone, your next two attacks, uh, two attacks will turn your foe to stone. So instead of two seconds, it'll be four. And also um, in Shadow Arts, you get leeching venoms, which your venoms steal life when activated, so that's every hit your uh, your venoms do, you get health back. So instead of like two attacks or three attacks will heal so it's a little boost in healing not a big deal but mainly just for that extra mobilize and stun now the other choices are improved venoms stealing has a 33 percent chance to recharge all venom skills that is absolutely insane if you time it well and use it while all your venom skills are in cooldown it has a chance to bring them all back which is pretty much just like gg you win no matter what but i don't like it because it's rng so like you can use it and five times in a row it'll do nothing so I don't really like that personally but like then again you can use it in five times in a row it'll work so you may like that but I don't but uh yeah it can be really good quick venoms 20% reduce cooldowns on all your venoms which is nine seconds so instead of 45 second cooldown it'll be 34 which is pretty good 
it's actually really good, but uh, yeah, I still like the other one for the extra mobilize and stun. But yeah, you can uh, try around what you like with that, because they're all good. Now for uh, acrobatics, I get a uh, dual skills return initiative when completed, which is uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory. That's why you're able to spam your pistol whip and um, and unload. Also because of opportunists, your criticals have a 20% chance to restore one initiative. So that paired with this, um, yeah, you're able to sustain your initiative really, really well with those two abilities, and that's why they're your main attacks. And for uh, next one is hard to catch, which is gain haste whenever you're stunned, dazed, knocked back, knocked down, or launched. And haste gives you quickness and vigor, which your skills are twice as fast, and you regenerate endurance faster, which is okay, but the quickness, your skills are twice as fast, is absolutely insane. Your pistol whips and unloads will be twice as fast, but will still do the same amount of attacks, and your one slot, like your auto attack, is twice as fast too. So your damage while you have haste is absolutely insane, and uh, you get you get disabled a lot, like quick stuns and knockbacks and dazes, which will all give you uh, haste, so that's really good. And uh, for critical strikes, I have combo crit chance, which is your pistol whip and load have um, improved critical, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, pistol mastery, improved damage with pistols, since you're going to be mostly using your pistols since uh, you only pistol whip with your sword when they're mobilized or stunned. I get this. Um, I I tested it out and it improves the damage of pistols on your unload a lot, but I didn't record the damage. I remember it being around like 600 to 1000 damage per unload depending on the target uh, if all your attacks crit, so that's pretty insane damage. And uh, that's it, so yeah, I'm going to have some clips for you. Um, this is, All the clips were taken during the stress test, so you may notice some lag, so sorry about that. Uh, just, yeah, deal with it. And uh, yeah, enjoy.